fight, y'all. We done came out. We done been out for like three days now. It's been a crazy, a crazy three days. The bike is real slow. I don't know why. I guess because the river low. But I'm going to show y'all what we caught last night, yesterday evening. Got us a nice flathead. So watch the whole video. Y'all get to see me pulling them out. Caught a couple nice guards. We're going to do a catch, clean, and cook on some guard. And on some flathead. So stick with us. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all later. Y'all out here with that Courtney's Catfish channel. The Black Rob just laid in the one. We ain't even get to start recording yet. He done threw it out. He done caught him already. You running? Let him run on you. Let him run on you. Let him run on you. Let him perform. Like Let him run. Let him run. Turn them back around. They know them all over there. Oh, we in that war. I ran him out of something, y'all. He just give him a second. Let him come back out. And we finna get him up. All right, that's it. Yeah, that's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Ooh, I see you rubbing up against something, man. You look like you're rubbing up against something. Please come on up, baby. Ooh. Yeah, right here. You look like you're rubbing up on something, man. Come on out of there. Stop, let him run, let him run a little bit. Let him run a little bit. Let him run, let him run on. Alright. See what he does. Wow. Come out of there. Up. Keep it up high. Just keep it up high. Keep him up high. Oh, Lord. We got him, y'all. Oh. <laughs> We're going to bring him up to the light. It's grocery day. And we ain't even need no book. Look at my shirt.
There he come. Ooh. There he come. He right here. He right here. Show him his shirt real quick. Boy, a, Show him his shirt. We don't need a boat, baby. We don't need right on the side of the back. That's a hog game. That's a hog, bro. That's a hog game. All right, y'all. I'm finna show y'all this again now. One more time. Take that hook out. Let me get that hook out. I don't know he laid on me. Oh, he trying to bite me. Some pliers in there. Keep on all them Kylaks on my plea. Uh, well, watch your fault. Poke a little hole right there in that lip. Poke a little hole in that lip. That's how you keep them alive. That's how you keep them alive. So when y'all on that river, stop sticking it through the gills. You gonna kill your fish. We want fresh meat. We like our fish live and squirming. Like they said on Friday. Slide it straight through there. Straight through that lip. Bam. Put it straight back through that loop. That wasn't even 20 minutes. All right, he ready to go in that water. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We finna get to catching. Stick with him. <laughs> I'm back out here with the Cornelius Catfish Channel. And today, y'all, I want everybody to know, like, the bite been real slow on the skipjack. In the moon, now the catfish ain't really been biting them. So, y'all, I want y'all to know when it's get like that, go back to the old taxis. I want y'all to see I'm out here in this field today. I'm going to get some gumbo worms. They real tough, and they stay on the hook good. So, when the fish do bite it, you should probably catch the fish and still use the same worm. So, stick with me. I'm going to show y'all what they look like. And we're going to go get them. Okay, there they go right there. Nice gumbo worm. Y'all can see good. It's a gumbo worm. Nice and perfect. No, there's some more right here. There's another one. Right down in that dirt. Right down, that's perfect. All you need is one of these on your hook. And you go get them. Cut that one. I need to get a pitchfork. A pitchfork will work better and won't cut them. But right now I couldn't find one. So I just had to get this shovel. I'm gonna get some of these worms. See like this little one right here. I'll keep this one. This will be for when I go bluegill and crappie fishing. See they all down in this. And these roots, uh, keep busting that dirt open. Don't just push a chunk to the side because they'll be hiding right in there. You'll look right past them. Push that back over. Hit it again. Hit it again, play it. Back to the old tactics. Get y'all some worm. Y'all know on this stuff. I mean, on this videos that I be going out, I be showing y'all the most easiest ways to fish. And y'all ain't got to. Right huh? Right by your hand. Yeah. Y'all ain't got to spend money. Just go out there. 
Get you an old shovel. You got you some bait. You ain't gotta still spend your money all the time. That's what this this that's what this channel about. Showing y'all the easy way to get out there on that water. See, look at that. Well, I'll push that to the side. Was this nice one sitting right in there? Take this one right here, break it up. Make sure they ain't hiding in there. Don't be scared to get y'all hands dirty so they make soap and water for. Check all them little balls. All them little clumps. I'm gonna go back a little way. Cause it seems like when I dig, it's like they they push back so they won't get dug up. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Try not to cut them up with the shelf. This all I got right now though, so oh, they, 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 they. Mm, they go a big one. See how I went back a little bit. They just went right in there. Perfect. That's perfect. Catfish bait. Oh, they down in there. Oh, you seen them take off? Mm -hmm. I gotta get them. I gotta hurry them dig right there before they take off too far. I had to bust that open. There they go, right there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, this one right down there. Let me see if I can get them out. Yeah. There you go. Nice one. Nice one's coming out now. Dig down down in there deep. I need to move this dirt out the hole real fast and see. If it's on this sitting there. And once that once that fresh air hit them, they take off running deeper down into the ground. Oh, there you go. That's that big one. Ouch. Push that off. Yeah, grab that grub one. That's gonna work too. That's a big one down there. They gotta get deep to get him off. He trying to run. He trying to run deep. He trying to run deep down in there. He probably got away. Big old joker. There you go, right there. Yeah, my career. Oh, it's alright. Yeah. He broke, but they're gonna rest of them. Yeah. Y'all see what I'm telling you? I'm gonna show y'all all these little ways to get these fish. And right now, y'all, it's late October. Well, now it's probably about middle of October. So, bait gonna be hard to come across so you got to get out there you go old fast and like grandma talked <clears throat> you know what? I really don't keep the cut ones but right now I need them and I ain't going to the store spending my money on something I can know I can get you know I know I come out here and get these worms myself and these, these worms way better than the worms you buying out of Walmart. See down in that good, baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they in here. They in here today. We just got a good rain. in them roots y'all so don't be scared to check it nice one 
That's bluegill material, crappie material. Just some just told me today. Show y'all something different than everybody else doing. So we gonna go do this together. We gonna work this today together, y'all. Post all of this so y'all can see. Drop that good dirt down in there, that fine good dirt off them roots. Cover that level up. Then you start another level. Alright. And then two them up right here so we'll go over a little bit ways. Grab that thing in that top clip. I'll see y'all. We just hit them right there. So I just scoot it back a little bit. I got stuck by thorn bush or something. But right here, y'all, I used to dig a lot right up through here, so it mostly should be soft. So stick with me. Let's do this. What's going on, y'all? Back out here with the Cornelius Catfish Channel. And the other day, y'all, we went out, we dug these gumbo worms. Let's show y'all. Lay down in there. I got to shake them up. We went out the other day, we dug these gumbo worms. I'm going to post that in front of the video so y'all can see. And uh, we got me some little skipjack right here. We down here on the Mississippi River out here. Y'all just stick with us. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I'm going to get to chucking them out. It's late, it's late October. So it's, we, we, we're waiting for a good sunny day. So we got, we done, it's Tuesday. It's like in the 70s. So we finna try today. I got everything set up. So y'all ain't gotta wait for all that. Finna just get to baiting them up, chunking them out there. And while we fishing, while the pole's out, we gonna try to catch some moon eye, see if they biting. If not, we already got some skipjack and some gumbo worm. So stick with us, I'm finna get to throwing them out. Let's do this. Okay, y'all already know when it's froze, I leave it froze solid. Keep that bait froze solid. Don't let it unthaw because it's going to unthaw in that water. The skipjack, the head, perfect hook set. You get on there, you're going to be coming in. Now, let's little steak. Big little steak, just stake them up. I ain't cut the belly off. Just left it all attached. See what's gonna happen. Got a little piece of gut pocket right there. So I'm gonna hook that on the hook too. Try to wiggle that on there. Damn, just like that. These steaks going. And then, I'm going to see what's going to happen. I'm going to throw, after I pull these out, probably put some worms on one of them or two of them. See what's going to happen. Just trying it all today. Late October, we're going to see what the bite like. The water came up a little bit. It's been raining. So I hope that helped. But y'all going to see. Y'all go see. So stick with me. Alright. Get down here. I'm just gonna put some water in this bucket. I ain't gotta keep running up and down here putting the rest of my hands, bro. I'm gonna get some water in this bucket. My hands off like that, they gotta keep running up and down there. Alright, first one who get kicked out is the force. TripleCityAnglers.com. Check them out. Use promo code CC10. Get a 10% discount.
you get out pretty far, try to let it go with that current. That current take it on up some. Remember y'all put them rocks on the back of that pole. You'll find that baby in New Orleans somewhere. Out in there as deep as I can get. Come on out there, y'all. Locking them straight in. Stick with me. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I'm finna get them up out of there. Trying to get him up. Stuck him, y'all. And we ain't even need no boat. Got them groceries. Y'all hear them grocery day. Woo! He laid on. Turn that hook. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want to take a picture? Carl, let's see, get you a picture. It's some picking up on his I got it. Oh, my God. I got him. Ooh. I got him. I got him. I got him. Soon as it hit the bottom. Oh, I stuck him good, too. I stuck him. Let me get him up. Come on. I'm talking about as soon as I threw it out, put it down. I know. It wasn't even two minutes. I'm telling you. He's nice. Uh, I put it to the mat. He coming straight at me like a rock. He coming straight at me like a rock. Come up, baby. Come up. Uh, oh, it's a big old monster. Oh. Oh, oh! I wanted that one too. I wanted it. That's all right. Got lucky, punk. <laughs> the punk got lucky. Oh, let's go. Yeah. I stuck something, but I don't know what it is. Got it. So like he just came off or something. No, you still there, I think. This has got to be a bar. Yep, it's guards. Woo! I'm gonna pull him up out of there. Got that line. What they doing over there in Vinton? I ain't been down there. I probably want to. Shit. How much time you got? You see how Lucy loosened it up? I ain't finna swim back out with it. Oh, oh, oh. He on there. He on there. He on there. You stuck him. He stuck him. He stuck him. And I wonder did I cross your damn line? Yeah, I crossed. Yeah, a big guard, man. See, that's too much. A guard? This one.